What's up, B Operation iDroid here, and what you are looking at is raw, unedited footage straight from iRec. If you don't know what iRec is, it's an iOS screen recorder, and if you want to learn how to get that, you can find a link in the description. But, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to get the best possible quality for iRec, and how to record OpenGL games, which sometimes give you a black screen. So, let's get right into it. Alright, so let's begin. Some of you may not know where the actual settings for iRec are if you didn't watch my tutorial. The settings for iRec actually are not in the application. If you look around you won't find it, but what you will find is a note that says the application settings will be located in the device's default settings app. So as it states, we're going to go into the settings application to find the settings for iRec. So once you open up your settings, when you scroll down among your other applications, you'll find iRec. And to access the settings of iRec, it's very simple, just click on iRec there. And once you click on it, you'll see all the settings that we have here. We have video orientation, FPS, bitrate, and recording your audio. Unfortunately, there's no way to record the game audio without recording your voice unless you're very quiet. But anyways, I think the best way to do that is by turning your bitrate up to 6000 to get the best possible audio quality because it makes your voice sound very crisp and at the same time recording your game's audio. As well as putting your FPS to 30 is optimal because uploading to YouTube always degrades the frames per second to 30. So there's no point in recording in 60 FPS unless you're recording a game that's in 60 FPS like Infinity Blade 3 or... Modern Combat 5. But when you're picking your video orientation, I always recommend you pick the orientation in which you're going to be playing your game. I'm going to be showing you all in Portrait, which is going to be GBA for iOS, but if you're a Minecraft player or a Clash of Clans, I recommend Landscape with the home button to the right at, 50, at FPS at 30 and bitrate 6000. But anyways, once we have our settings set, we're going to head over to iRec and we're going to do a test recording to see how these settings actually look and to be honest these settings make the gameplay very smooth as opposed to the 29.97 fps which is still good and it works but setting it at 30 would be best and 60 is even better for your games like infinity blade 3 and modern combat but anyways i'm just doing some test recordings here going into my twitter and instagram if you don't follow me on there yet highly recommend you do it i'm always letting you guys know on what i plan for videos and among other cool stuff but anyways now the reason i'm guessing most of you all are here is to learn how to fix the black screen that you get when you're doing recordings of things like emulators or clash of clans minecraft and at the moment you can see that it's actually recording um, the gameplay and I can see it and that's actually what you guys see so when you're recording you see yourself playing the game but then when you stop your recording and you head over to your recordings and you watch it your screens just black and you can hear yourself and you can hear the in-game audio because it comes out of your speakers as you're talking but it's black and you can't see anything and the reason that that happens is because it is OpenGL now there's many things that have OpenGL like emulators, Minecraft, Class of Clans, um, Infinity Blade and those games all require OpenGL and you can see when you try to record that with iRec it's just a black screen. But there is a workaround for this and you will be able to record your OpenGL games in iRec by turning on a setting that actually isn't within iRec but within your iDevice. So, before you turn on the setting, you're going to want to exit out of iRec from the multitasking bar. And then we're going to head over to settings. Once we get to settings, you're going to go into general. And once you click on general, you're going to click on accessibility. And from here, you're going to scroll down and find assistive touch. Yes, assistive touch is what's going to help us record those OpenGL games. Now you can either turn on assistive touch and have it on all the time or you can head over to the accessibility shortcuts and set assistive touch to a shortcut which would be triple tapping the home button which I find to be the most effective way. 
So by turning on and check marking assistive touch on the triple tap for home button, whenever you're going to do a recording, you just have to triple tap your home button to enable assistive touch and then record your open GL games and you won't have a black screen. But some of you may be thinking, I do this and I still get a black screen. And the reason that this occurs is because you actually have to put the little assistive touch thing on the screen so that it records it. Now that may be a little tedious because it takes up some of the screen, but that is the only way you can do it. So as you can see, usually this is what you see. You can see your game as you record it, but it never ends up recording it. But as you can see, I'm doing some testing here and I'm just putting the assistive touch on and off the screen. And then when I place it on the screen, it'll actually record the screen without a problem. So when we head over into my iRec recording, which is what you guys use to upload to YouTube, you'll see that it has it. Especially if you're playing a landscape game, I recommend that you move assistive touch a little bit along the screen just to make sure that it picks up the assistive touches on and that it records your game. Because if you're playing in a game that's full screen, of course the assistive touch is gonna be on the screen. But if you're playing a portrait game, you have to move the assistive touch to be on the screen. So, with all this done and all this little trial and error out of the way, let's head into iRex, stop the recording, and remember that with these new settings, the merging will take some more time. I edited it out just so you guys don't have to wait and see all of that, but your merging will take some time um, with these new settings because they're the best high quality settings. But anyways, as you can see, the screen is black in iRec, but I do have assistive touch on. But then as you can see, when I put assistive touch on the screen, it actually shows the screen and when I take it off, it doesn't show the screen. So. If you leave assistive touch on the screen, it will record your screen at all times. Make sure that it is on the screen of your game. For example, in GBA for iOS, if it isn't on the actual screen and on the black bars, it won't record it. But you only need to get a little centimeter of the assistive touch on the screen for it to record it. And that is how you record your OpenGL games and these are the best settings for that. I hope you enjoyed this video and I thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed already, I definitely recommend you do because I do videos like this all the time showing you guys the best ways to do things on your iOS device. Thanks for watching, thank you for subscribing, and welcome to the operation.